वेलकम टू द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ डिस्टेंस एंड कॉन्टीन्यूंग एजुकेशन यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ डेली मास्टर ऑफ बिजनेस एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एम बी ए सेमेस्टर वन कोर कोर्स एम बी ए एफ टी सिक्स वन जीरो एट इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी मैनेजमेंट लेसन नंबर वन इंट्रोडक्शन टू कंप्यूटर्स वन पॉइंट वन लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग दिस लेसन यू विल बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन द टर्म इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी about computer generation and languages element of information technology and computers usage of information technology and computers for business organizations and the last one is emerging trends in information technology and computers 1.2 introduction information technology is related to all information and became a strategic necessity Nowadays computers and IT is part of life of every human being such as used in government for commercial purpose in home etc Computers have many uses in business organization Computers started in this world along and describe five generations Computers are interacting with the help of main elements hardware and software the integration of hardware and software with the end users required different computer languages for distinct purposes business organizations are growing enough with the help of information technology and the use of computers new trends in business organizations planning and information technology as part of it working on growing pace there are many emerging technologies growing well and users are adopting them at a growing pace such as cloud social media information of technology robotics etc 1.3 computers and introduction computers and it is spreading rapidly all over the world and revolutionized business as well as the personal activities of human beings either good or bad computers have infiltrated every aspect of our society today's computers not only compute for which it was built but it does much even more it works in the field of profession As computers adopt in commerce and governments new ways to harness this potential developed so a small business unit becomes more powerful it is linked together or networked to share software memory space and any kind of data for communicating with society a computer is an electronic device that accepts data and instruction processes the data and produces the desired output it can be said as data processing machine or a problem solving machine that accepts data stores data processes data and display results computers are ahead of human being for speed accuracy memory and intelligence but cannot beat the human brains they are not intelligent figure 1 represents processing diagram input of data and instructions goes to computer processing and computer processing goes to display of output and information computers can perform a variety of tasks they are used for programming graphics presentation data management word processing spreadsheets communications and much more the ability of computers to do all task processing is built around the two operation of computers arithmetic operations and logical operations functions of computers have been done by a software a set of instructions written by human brain to computers for processing software directs all the processing sequence to the computer and allows it to perform specific task so basic operation performed by any computer are one input function two storage function three processing function four output function five control function 1.4 computers in business organizations The present computing era is playing important role of growth for business organizations and management of organization. Information technology is very well designed to improve the growth of business. It is seen that computers are an invaluable assistant for businesses even for small ones also. Information technology has many dimensions. Example mobility. As business environment is no more as stable as previous era. Nowadays much more competitive so the survival of business it became mandatory to be techno savvy with the full use of it most of the businesses are it oriented taking help to plan any kind of critical response activities 
for dealing with today's consumer. Due to changed policies of government, business organizations are under pressure to be IT oriented. Over a long period of time, the government gives enough time to respond to changed policies, but changes in the behavior of consumers ask organization to come up with IT solutions fast. So IT help us to anticipate and stay ahead of problems. The organization can be with proactive measures instead of firefighting measures. Business organizations are supported with strategic system of IT to increase their market value and share. Nowadays, the most need of business is business process engineering, where IT and computers play a major role. Here, organizations work with the technology of networking. Internet and internet are a part of networking technique. It helps an organization in changing their processes and reduce cycle time and time to market a product. Employees of the organizations are also accessing information at different levels with the help of IT tools and rising businesses. So employees are more independent to take decision for the business. Through ERP, a major IT tool for business, integration process of an organization is very easy. Information technology means gathering, storing, organizing and displaying the processed data. Here, IT describes an integral part of it as a database. Database is very important tool of any business organization which is a collection of related files, tables, relation, data, etc. that works for the growth. IT tools help organization in accessing database and processing of information further for communication and knowledge and facilitate business. So it can be said that IT is an important tool for the business and must be used properly. 1.5 Generations of Computers A computer is such an electronic machine which is present in this world since long. Now we can say that computers passed many generations. Firstly, people know it only as a fast counting tool. But over the time, computer is characterized by major technological changes or development. The characterized technological development of computer fundamentally change the working of computers, the way it operates, stores, processes and results. Then resulting it to increasing smaller, cheaper, more powerful, reliable and more efficient as well as multitasking device. These technological development are recognized as progression of generations with specific changes. So now we learn about different generation of computers with progressive changes. 1.5.1 Zeroth Generation Computers Zeroth generation of computers can be marked by the invention of first mechanical device Pascaline in 1642. Next in 1828, Charles Babbage developed different engine for naval navigation. Further in 1834, Babbage attempted to build an analytical engine which was considered as first computer. So Charles Babbage called as the father of computers. His computer had memory unit, computation unit, input unit, punched card reader and output unit, punched output printer, all basic parts of modern computers. 1.5.2 First Generation Computers First generation of computers 1946 to 1959 was marked with the invention of vacuum tubes for circuits and magnetic drums for memory. These computers were very large in size because of the massive numbers of vacuum tubes required. They consumed too much power and generated too much heat. These systems were very slow with poor reliability and low accuracy. First generation computers were based on machine language for performing operations and using punch card and paper tapes. They were very expensive also. Example of these systems are Univac, ENIAC, EDSAC, EDVAC, etc. Figure 2 represents first generation computers. 1.5.3 Second generation computers. Transistor marked with second generation of computers 1954 to 1964. Transistors were the breakthrough in the technology of second generation that make computers small in size and more powerful. The use of transistors made second generation computers less expensive and more reliable, even faster also. 
सेकेंड जनरेशन कंप्यूटर्स मूवड फ्रॉम मशीन लैंग्वेज टू असेंबली लैंग्वेज दे यूज मैग्नेटिक कोर फॉर मेमरी कार्ड रीडर्स फॉर इनपुट एंड प्रिंटर्स फॉर आउटपुट ऑल दो दे रिक्वायर्ड लेस इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड एमिटेड लेस हीट दैन अर्लियर कंप्यूटर्स बट ऑल्सो हैड मैनी डिसएडवाटेजेस दिस सिस्टम्स हैड लिमिटेड स्टोरेज कैपेसिटी नीड रेगुलर मेंटेनेंस बट मच बेटर फ्रॉम फर्स्ट जनरेशन एग्जाम्पल्स आर यूनिवेक थर्ड आई बी एम सीरीज हनीवेल सीरीज एक्सेट्रा वन पॉइंट फाइव पॉइंट फोर थर्ड जनरेशन कंप्यूटर्स थर्ड जनरेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स नाइनटीन सिक्सटी फाइव टू नाइनटी एटी वॉज मार्क्ड विद द यूज ऑफ इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट्स अ प्रोग्रेसिव चेंज इन टेक्नोलॉजी दिस टेक्नोलॉजी वॉज मोर रिलायबल मोर एफिशियंट देन प्रीवियस जनरेशन इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट्स वर मोर कॉम्पैक्ट दैन ट्रांजेस्टर्स विच रेड्यूज द साइज ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स एंड जनरेटेड लेस हीट विद लेस कंजम्पन ऑफ पावर दीज सिस्टम्स वर इंट्रोड्यूस विद ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम्स एंड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ कंप्यूटर फैमिलीज थर्ड जनरेशन कंप्यूटर्स वर विद सेकेंडरी स्टोरेज डिवाइसेज आउटसाइड द सिस्टम दीज सिस्टम्स वर अनेबल्ड विद फास्टर इनपुट आउटपुट डिवाइसेज लाइक की बोर्ड एंड मॉनिटर फॉर एनहेंसिंग द एबिलिटी कंसेप्ट ऑफ मल्टी प्रोग्रामिंग ऑल्सो इंट्रोड्यूस्ड एंड यूजिंग हाई लेवल लैंग्वेज फॉर प्रोग्रामिंग दिस जनरेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड विद सम डिसएडवांटेजेस लाइक लेस स्टोरेज कैपेसिटी स्लो परफॉर्मेंस एज एक्सपेक्टेड एग्जांपल्स आर आई बी एम थ्री सिक्सटी क्रे वन पी डी पी एट सीरीज यूनिवैव इलेवन हंड्रेड नाइन थाउजेंड सीरीज एक्सेट्रा वन पॉइंट फाइव पॉइंट फाइव फोर्थ जनरेशन कंप्यूटर्स फोर्थ जनरेशन कंप्यूटर्स 1981 टू 1995 नाइन्टी फाइव वॉज द मार्क्ड जनरेशन ऑफ लार्ज स्केल इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ चिप्स विथ सेवरल थाउजेंड ट्रांजिस्टर्स एंड माइक्रो प्रोसेसर्स एंड फर्दर दिस वॉज फॉलोड बाई इंटेल सीरीज ऑफ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर्स दिस वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस विद वेरी लार्ज स्केल इंटीग्रेशन टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ पॉपुलर पर्सनल कंप्यूटर्स पी सीज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज माइक्रो कंप्यूटर्स दीज माइक्रो कंप्यूटर्स वर इंट्रोड्यूस फॉर होम एंड बिजनेस users to adapt computer as part of their working by using word processing spreadsheet file handling graphics animation and much more for those purposes the input output devices used in fourth generation are very much advanced like graphic tool animation tools audio terminals optical devices etc most importantly fourth generation introduced with graphical user interface and mouse optical devices with very large storage capacity दिस सिस्टम हैड वेरी हाई स्पीड हाई लेवल ऑफ एक्यूरेसी एंड रिलायबिलिटी ऑल्सो डेलीजेंट एंड वर्सटाइल विद स्मॉल साइज एग्जाम्पल्स आर क्रे टू आई बी एम पी सी इंटेल थ्री एटी सिक्स सीरीज एक्सेट्रा बट सिस्टम्स वर नॉट इंटेलिजेंट वन पॉइंट फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स फिफ्थ जनरेशन कंप्यूटर्स फिफ्थ जनरेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स नाइनटीन नाइनटी फाइव टू टिल डेट आर एनेबल्ड विद Artificial intelligence is the main part of today's system working with knowledge processors which can find the solution of problem itself they are using integrated circuits with ULSI that means ultra large scale integration technology and applications with intelligent software these systems are more efficient and capable to understand the problem of user based on intelligent programming and knowledge based problem solving techniques these system performing task according to the user intelligently with a specialized technique for artificial intelligence called as parallel processing next goal of this generation is to understand natural language processing and development of such intelligent devices which are capable enough to learn and self organized all of this is possible with the help of internet and mobile computing which is again a great achievement for this generation This era is developing continuously with much more technologies day by day and enabling the world with well performing applications and great devices that is done only through great human brain so human brain is powerful organ which is business oriented examples are all artificial intelligence based application or robots etc 1.6 computer languages programming is technical skill of computers which involve designing creating and refining of code for solving the problems by building applications for the purpose of programming many computer languages are available for accomplishing the task of end users 
for understanding computer languages can be characterized as low level languages and high level languages 1.6.1 low level languages these languages are languages of computer in the form of 0 and 1 they have direct connection with machine which machine can understand easily based on machine hardware itself as they are very near to machine so have fast execution speed and efficient use of primary memory but writing of code in low level languages is a tedious task and time consuming they are again divided into machine language and assembly language 1.6.2 high level languages high level languages are close to human beings and mathematical notations these languages require less time and effort in writing code with them high level languages often use english like words as instructions but further translate those commands into machine language instructions to boost the capability of system they also use assembly language for translation purpose all high level languages are different for variety of tasks and specialized for certain purposes these are characterized according to the specific task examples are calculation oriented language includes basic fortran algol and apl data processing languages cobol rgl sql etc list processing language lisp prolog object oriented languages c++ java dotnet etc in text questions Number 1. Differentiate between high level and low level programming languages. Number 2. Give examples of high level languages. Number 3. What are the limitations of high level languages? Elements of information technology. We have been using and talking about information technology is not an element or a single device. Information technology is the collection, storage, processing, dissemination and use of information it is not only confined to the information instead a collection of many elements of technology as hardware memory units storage units processing units software and data for processing but all these elements have to be organized in such a way that each element works smoothly and efficiently during the computing process computer integrates all these elements thus Computing process includes all elements to accomplish any activity or perform task. All are named and explained as hardware, software, data telecommunications and people. 1.7.1 Hardware The term hardware means the physical part of computer, which we can touch. It consists of interconnected electronic devices that controls the system. Hardware can be further subdivided into processing units, memory units, storage units, input-output units. 1.7.1.1 Processing Unit Processing unit is processor that transforms data into information with the help of memory. Processor act like a brain of the computer. It organizes and processes all the instructions given to the system by user. This device is also called Central Processing Unit CPU which involves computations and decision making. It is also responsible for controlling all the devices connected. CPU comprises of three parts, control unit, arithmetic unit and logical unit. All work with the help of CPU memory called registers. CPU works at a very fast pace of sequence, collecting data, transforming data and then generating output. At the rate of one computational cycle at a time. There are many types of processor present in the market for system based on the working of CPU. 1.7.1.2 Memory Units The memory of computer is storage medium to store data electronically. It holds the data from CPU and other components of the computer for carrying out its operations. Every computer has certain amount of physical memory, storage space, usually referred as main memory, primary memory. It is a semiconductor device that is built using integrated circuits. Primary memory is internal storage of the computer where programs and their data are stored. This memory provides temporary storage during execution of the program, so also called as volatile memory. But its access is very fast, 
some part of the primary memory also contains permanently stored instructions that tell the computer what to do when it is switched on figure 3 represents types of memory diagram main memory main memory is further divided into two parts ram and rom ram is further subdivided into sd ram and dram talking about rom rom is further subdivided into ep rom and p rom main memory can be divided into two parts as random access memory and read only memory ram is that part of main memory where data and instructions held temporarily while being executed it allows users to enter data into the memory and retrieve read and write with continuous power supply on the other hand rom is a part of computer storage that cannot be erased or changed it contents are not lost without power supply the data can be read only cannot be write into it rom is necessary for the system which tells and stores booting program to start the computer this process of memory is not for application software only boots the operating system which cannot be changed due to any failure 1.7.1.3 storage units information needs to be stored on the system with the help of different types of storage media storage devices are used to store permanently or semi permanently the data is stored in binary form in memory by storage media the storage media are distinguished by their relative capacity speed resilience to failure broadly it can be of two types volatile storage and non volatile storage Volatile storage devices needs continuous power supply content will lose if power supply is switched off access to volatile storage is very fast because of technology used and access method examples are main memory cache memory etc we have already learned about primary memory main memory or volatile storage in previous section non volatile storage devices do not need continuous power supply content will be retained after power supply switched off the technology used for an access method to non volatile storage makes them slower than volatile storage examples are magnetic storage disk or tapes etc so further we will learn about secondary storage to store data permanently secondary storage is non volatile providing permanent data storage supplements main memory having much greater capacity than main memory it is less expensive but slower access than main memory stores large amount of data permanently secondary storage used for keeping backups or archival storage of data various technologies are used for access of secondary storage some provide random access and others provide sequential access these technologies effect on speed of data retrieval from then amount of data stored on the performance of the storage device for example if device having sequential access and it is storing large amount of data then its data retrieval speed will be slow 1.7.1.4 input and output units for the purpose of communication with computer and user medium is required The collection of devices for input and output of data is called input output units. The input is given to the computer through input devices and the display of processed data for the user is provided through the output devices. These devices are controlled by CPU. Basically, these devices are designed for human beings to interact with computer system in seamless manner. These are links between man and machine depends on the processing requirement. input devices the input device in an interface between the user and the machine for inputting the data and instructions and transformed into machine readable form data can be input in many forms such as audio video text graphics etc some common input devices are keyboard mouse light pens and digitizers micr ocr omr barcode reader joysticks web camera voice recognition scanner output devices the output device is an interface between the machine and user that accepts data from the machine and transforms into readable format for humans 
the output generated by the computer can be transferred to the users by several devices and media the output also can be in many forms such as audio video text graphics etc some common output devices are monitors printers plotters audio devices speakers headphones projector touch screen braille reader secondary storage devices 1.7.2 software the term software means which we cannot touch software is interface between computer hardware and users in the last two decades there is a great development in the field of software the computer hardware cannot perform any activity without any instructions these instructions are given by software the software is the set of instructions that hardware units follow to work done the process of writing the instructions is called the programming in order to communicate for solving problems there are many types of software available for almost every type of need the software available from stores on internet open source or paid software the different types of software are available but broadly classified into two categories system software and application software system software the system software directly interacts with the computer hardware and manages all the hardware components as well as supervises the execution of all applications running on the computer system it also controls the saving and retrieval of data from the secondary storage devices operating system and language translator utilities are main examples of it next is application software application software enables the computer to solve the specific data processing task application software creates a communication bridge between user system software and computer hardware to perform specific task nowadays number of application software and packages have been developed to make life easier these are easy to learn and use although they perform many general and specific functions however there may be much kind of situations where specific types of application software are not available which can be designed or called as custom application software the most important categories or types of packages available are data communication software database management software statistical and operational research software dtp package software presentation and graphics software spreadsheet and word processing software account packages etc 1.7.3 data data is the basic element of information technology for the business organizations the modern business runs on data business organizations keeps their data with the data centers data centers is physical place where computer servers networking data storage backup facility environmental controls etc data is a stream of raw facts a collection of unprocessed items such as text pictures audio graphics etc organizations are accumulating vast and growing amount of data in different formats and different databases this mainly includes operational or transactional data such as inventory sales cost payroll accounting non operational data such as industry sales forecast data macroeconomic data next one is metadata data about data itself such as logical database design or data dictionary data should be processed before usage data processing typically is manipulation of data to get information data processing activities includes collection of data conversation or transforming manipulation or computation then storage and communication of information these activities can be grouped into functional categories data input data processing data output and storage is called as data processing cycle in other words data processing is restructuring or reordering of data to increase their usefulness and add values for particular purpose a data warehouse contains all of the data in whatever form that an organization needs database and data warehouse have assumed even greater importance in information system with the emergence of big data a term for the truly massive amount of data that can be collected and analyzed 1.7.4 telecommunications 
telecommunication is next component of information technology for working with business organizations it is the process by which information is exchanged it includes sharing transformation or retrieval of information etc so conveying and understanding of information is the basic characterized feature of telecommunication all this is possible only through networking of organizations and connections can be established physically or by wifi connections among themselves business organization follow all basic technologies of networking like lan man wan through wires or wireless with different kinds of hardware 1.7.5 people information technology of business organizations is based on important element people they are main because of them whole system works people the important element that are needed to run the system and the procedures so that data collected in databases and data warehouses turned into knowledge and information people are involved in information systems in just about every way people imagine information systems people develop information systems people support information systems and perhaps most importantly people use information systems in text questions Number 1 define software and discuss its types number 2 explain why people are involved in information system number 3 differentiate between input output devices 1.8 personal computers in business computer and it has been impacted tremendous to the business organization it has many advantages as well as disadvantages also On one hand IT increases labor cost of IT professionals in every field on the other hand cost performance ratio of business is towards betterment vast capabilities and powers of computers increasing the usage in this field there are many characteristics of computers make very useful for business organizations such as data processing speed vast amount of data storage capability to solve complex problems high accuracy automation of task and a steady decline of cost per unit of data processed so nowadays the it has been used in every business and for every function or process of business some of the basic and popular application used in business are as follows finance and accounting sales and marketing manufacturing human resource management project management data analysis marketing and research healthcare education sector public relations etc 1.9 planning information technology setup for an organization the business organizations today requires real time responsiveness to change whether to meet new demands changes in the supply chain or unexpected competitive proceed in order to be able to respond quickly enterprises must provide their employees with immediate access to accurate and update information This greater vulnerability or information translates into greater dependence on the effectiveness of IT infrastructure as a whole so there should be well planned setup for information technology for an organization IT act as a channel of communication software development tools and social network the responsibility of business organization is infrastructure should be facilitated secure logical powerful waste disposal and management of large chunks of information technology a flexible and robust it infrastructure also plays an important role by employer employee productivity and globalization it infrastructure allowed pervasive and secure business communications anywhere and anytime and managing operational complexity and providing greater utilization of resource assets over the years computer based systems are larger and more complex the importance of and dependence on it systems have grown substantially information technology has all the indication of an infrastructure technology information technology is first of all a transport system it carries digital information like as railroads carry goods and power grids carry electricity in it companies have worked hard to reduce the cost of it infrastructure data center networks databases and software tools that support businesses 
planning and information technology setup for organization proposes an eight step process that can help decision makers number 1 choose the solution that best fits their need and context obtain the external help and expertise they need develop scale and then sustain their chosen solution there are eight steps in the process of planning and information technology setup includes number 1 define outcomes at the start of any major ict project the project management team should create a project charter or terms of reference document that summarizes what the project will accomplish and where and when they will implement it that way there is no confusion about the project objectives targets and scope number 2 form your team to avoid misunderstandings and to make sure that your team processes the required skills consider the roles that will be required select personals or organizations that will fulfill these roles completing roles and responsibility a matrix should be required number 3 define what your system needs to do defining of business processes first helps to think about the way people work or could work before diving into the details what your system will look like this process enhances the likelihood that system will adapt itself to provide their work objectives number 4 find the right solution organization will find an appropriate system solution that aligns with the context which can be find out by adopting a system and architecture of business organization next is select the right vendors it is easy to be overwhelmed by vendors with more experience selling their service or product than business organization buying it estimate implementation or operational cost the cost to maintain the system should provide an ongoing benefit that outweighs this cost when seeking to manage the cost of operations the organization should review ways to reduce the cost and best estimate whole cost create an implementation plan just as cost are often underestimated so is the time it takes to implement a successful information system this sometimes leads to hurried analysis phases unclear requirement and scope definitions and skipping necessary quality controls in the end this results in even longer timelines having a plan and following a project methodology is the key to ensuring success this step highlights some attention points like define work plan track milestone then implement next is understand and manage risk of the system following the seven step described previously should lower project risk by aligning requirements to organizational objectives understanding cost planning appropriately and choosing the right vendors and partners however despite the planning that takes place a significant number of projects have a different outcome than expected for that just find out critical factor of failure then solutions to remove and low down the risk 1.10 emerging technologies emerging technology generally means a new technology but it can also meant for the continuing development of an existing technology it should have slightly different meaning when used in different fields such as media business science or education etc emerging technologies having importance for the modernization of industries new technologies work for digitization of business organizations these technologies are mainly helpful in manufacturing energy and mobility markets etc these technologies continue to affect the way we live work or interact with one another and having great impact mainly to increase our productivity and make the service we need more accessible and overall make our lives easier emerging technologies enables learning experiences which are difficult to recreate they have positive effects and negative effects as well such as a social isolation job loss health issues scams etc so the main objective of it is to make task easier and give solutions for many problems day by day technology is more emerging few of the examples of it are artificial intelligence cloud computing virtual reality robotics social media machine learning information of technology big data etc we will learn here about few of them 1.10.1 cloud computing 
Recently, cloud computing has been emerging computer technology of IT sector, which is acting as a revolutionary setup for IT infrastructure and provides flexibility to the system. Cloud computing is introduced basically for the business environment that provides internet-based interactive environment for using virtualized resources such as storage space, software, working platforms. It has many benefits as resource pooling, on-demand benefit, broad network access, location independence, file transfer, software for hire, secure storage, servers for rent, databases, etc. Nothing is there in the world without drawbacks, so some of the disadvantages of cloud computing are less reliable, loss of information, unsecure connections, exposure of your information to many platforms, etc. The major cloud computing models are in a use today. Infrastructure as a Service IAAS Platform as a Service PAAS Software as a Service SAAS Few of the examples of cloud platforms are Amazon Amazon Web Services or AWS Microsoft Azure and Google Google Cloud Platform maintain the most in demand Cloud computing is emerging on one hand but have many security issues on the other hand as lack of privacy full of legal issues some compliances and issue of long term viability etc 1.10.2 information of technology nowadays internet is the most important part of the life in the world so world is dependent on internet everything is connected to the internet all communications are with the help of internet human being are working with internet almost all devices are connected to internet and performing tasks this gave birth to new term of IoT, Internet of Things. It is an interconnected network of smart devices using internet sensors and RFID for transferring data without human intervention over the network. IoT works on few main elements as identification of device, sensing of data for transferring, then communication of devices to transferring of data. This is the main working of IoT with the world artificial intelligence and machine learning. The IoT creates opportunities for new products, services and business models. Some of the basic examples of IoT are automotive industry, pharmaceutical industry, manufacturing industry, agriculture and breeding, supply chain management, etc. Some major challenges faced by IoT are of security and privacy, scalability and interoperability, low power communication, security threats from devices, etc. 1.10.3 Robotics Advancement in AI, machine learning, IoT and big data are driving robots into every aspect of our life. Robots can make life easy for humans as by eliminating dangerous jobs for humans because they are capable of working in hazardous environments. They can handle lifting heavy loads toxic substances and repetitive tasks. This has helped companies to prevent many accidents, also saving time and money. So from here, term robotics originated. The main aim of robotics is to design machines that can help and assist humans. Robotics integrates many fields of mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, information engineering, mechatronics, electronics, bioengineering, Computer Engineering, Control Engineering, Software Engineering, Mathematics, etc. They need special hardware with sensor and effectors. 1.10.4 Social Media Social media is virtual community within the network, interactive technology that facilitate the creation and sharing of information, ideas, interest and other forms of expression. In today's society, the use of social media has become a necessary daily activity used for social interaction and access to news and information and decision making. In fact, it is a valuable communication tool to share, create and spread information. Social media is fast evolving as one of the most reliable ways to connect and stay informed about the most recent developments in a particular industry. So, it is very useful for businesses. 1.11 Summary The computer is an electromechanical device which provides assistance in storing and processing data for business organizations. The personal computers are now in use 
which were introduced in 1980s a computer that is used by single user or people working in same field by sharing they are so popular that are used in every working field of human being small organization large organization and even in homes according to the trend pcs are reducing size cost but not the performance computers include cpu input units output units storage units and software the data is entered into the system then transformed into machine readable form is input then after processing into cpu data is transformed into human readable form machine is output then it is stored into secondary storage permanently collection of all these elements is necessary for information technology so hardware software data telecommunication and people are important elements of information technology to work with business organizations so we have learned the main components of an it system that are used in business organizations they follow the sequential path for installation of pcs into the business organization with it setup these system are also enables for telecommunications as well as emerging technologies today's emerging technologies are including artificial intelligence robotics cloud social media etc 1.12 self assessment define information technology and list its major elements number 2 discuss how it is supporting the business organizations number 3 what are the components of a computer system number 4 differentiate between ram and rom number 5 what are the major trends in business organization for information technology enabled pcs slash system number 6 describe the benefits of implementing information technology number 7 what are the main types of software and describe their functions Number eight, write a detailed note on the advantages of telecommunication as a component of information technology. Thanks for listening.